front of a dollar store that is actually closing down so I'm about to take you on the inside only reason I didn't do this as a live live is because I don't know how the internet works up here in this foothill part of North Carolina so we're going to go into the store it's called Mighty Dollar um, they just said that they will be shutting down this particular location even though they have others that are many miles away they are shutting this this location down because the owner does not want to keep the lease the same they want to raise the rent and let's see what the shelves are looking like because from the article that I read it was saying that you know the shelves are already looking kind of bare so let's go in and take a quick look see and I'll meet you after the video and I'll probably talk during the video I don't know yet though I've never been in the store before so let's go into the mighty dollar dollar store where they sell things for a dollar 25 so they do have some party stuff here um, somebody was just talking to me she's like it's so sad that it's closing down and I'm like I just read it and I've never been in here I've been meaning to come in the store and now I hate that I never came in to actually know exactly how much stuff they had in here but it looks like it's gone the majority of it is gone already This community is losing this store. And I see a lot. I saw one lady, she had a bunch of bagels and stuff in her hand. Um, they do have like, these letters right here. And they have some bags. They still have some cards over here. So I'm go down here and see what else they got. Sadly, this store will probably not be the only store that's facing closures. Whether it's the rent going up or theft. It's down here, arts and crafts, I think. So they still got a lot of arts and crafts stuff. Definitely need me some of these right here. Composition books. It's like a little diary or whatever. Oh, I like this one. Today I choose joy. This is cute little notepad here. construction paper still in here and I think this is located in some part of Hickory but it's more closer to a Mountain View area in North Carolina I love that sign stress free zone some candle holders down there and then they have a little bit of books left so go back down here and see what else they have. <clears throat> this whole area over here is already cleaned out. <laughs> I do have some bread. We got it marked as three ninety-seven. I don't know if that's like there original price. Well, it says all bread is now $1.25. No wonder that lady had so many bagels. I'm trying to see if they have any more. My son loves bagels. I don't I can make my own bread, but I've never made a bagel. Um, what's this? Oof, onion. Oh, they got blueberry. It's Thomas brand. Icing, 
cake mix, honey, this honey's open, cups, straws, that's good enough. Arts and crafts stuff. Baking items. The lighting in here is bad, y'all. I'm trying to lighten it up with my camera but this is as light as I can get it so I apologize but their lighting sucks so lots of baking stuff down here and then some cutting boards lemon squeezers and kitchenware on this side still left and then over here you have a few bowls, a few glasses. I might have it too light. There we go. And then we have, what is this? Chicken. Oh, for the microwave. Like a roaster. Hmm. Never seen that before. Some little tiny strainers here. This owl, it's about two more owls for me to go on because this backside of the store is all shut down. It's like some little cheap flashlights right here, duct tape. I could, I don't know if this duct tape any good. I need some water one so I can put on my hose for my pool. gloves some little cleaner Brillo cleaners I don't see like much in here really much of one okay so down here we have some pet items leashes and collars over here you have something called cozy cover oh you put it over the carrier that's neat some dog collars over there some more baby things over here bibs pacifier clips pacifiers been in a store that's closing in like three years because y'all know in, in 2020 I went to the one in Columbia South Carolina when I tell you the line was out the door the line was out the door these oh first thing stuff they got some gauze here what's this for your feet. If I had one for your hand, I get it. It's my carpal tunnel. It's messing with me holding this phone. Um, okay. Got some scarves, some gloves, some socks. Halloween stuff, okay, that's what it is. A lot of Halloween stuff, 
that's out. Trick or treat bags, etc. Pumpkins and I mean you can stock up for your fall, I guess. Little table covers. Oh no, I might have to come back with my husband. Because your girl is struggling on her budget. She got to hit the bank. Her husband. <laughs> Okay, so holiday stuff. This is all gone over here. Um, Valentine's. Okay. I'm going down the other way because I think this is the last aisle. Okay, y'all, so that's it for the store. You can see Halloween wall decal or $1.25 a box. Um, they got some caps on the wall in front of me. But other than that, y'all, that's it. This store is closing. And <clears throat> if you live in the area, come and stock up on whatever you, they have left if you need it. Uh, food, etc. But yeah, see? Closing. Now I'm kicking myself because I never came in the store. I passed by it twice because we get our mulch from down the road. But there's more people in here now. But there ain't much left in here. What's this? Oh, they got some, some of these right here. So they got these right here. The blueberry muffin things. I guess they're dollar twenty-five. My pants for dollar twenty-five too. So I talk to you when I get in the car. So like I've never been here before, but apparently I think they charge for bags because she was like, I won't charge you for a bag. I'm protesting. Chat. <laughs> so I thought y'all get in the car. So y'all, not a lot left in the store. Um, they look like they had a lot of good things. I saw things in there like the baby cover on the carrier. I've not seen that in any dollar, regular dollar store. But it's sad that they're closed and everybody's kind of down in the store. That's just kind of the, I don't know, the vibe that I felt within the store. Even the cashier, you know, she seemed very down. And it's sad to see people losing their jobs and not a lot of help out there for a lot of people. So let me know what y'all think down in the comments and I'll see y'all in the next video. I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be when you are gone. Spread God's love. So I'll call you. I'll call you later. I'll call you.